After 10 year old Aiden Hansen's life was taken away far too early, his family comes together to share their favorite memories of watching him grow up. 23 News reporter Alyssa Reamer talks to Aiden's family about how special he is and why they believe he will leave a mark on the world forever. When police arrived to a reported shooting in the 200 block of Townline Avenue in South Beloit, they discovered Aiden suffering from a gunshot wound. He was later pronounced deceased at a local hospital. Now his family wants to spread the word about how caring and bright he was. There's not going to be another person, child, anything like that. He was one of a kind. I never got to take him fishing. When describing 10-year-old Aiden Hansen, his family uses words like bright, giving and kind. On September 15th, his family says that bright light was stripped away from them. He always put everybody ahead of himself. He always cared about everyone's feelings. He saw the positive everywhere. He kept everybody smiling and he would want us to move on and continue shining bright like he did. Sweetest child you'd ever met. His laugh was Infectious. The kindest kid I ever known. He'd give his shirt off his back for anybody. Aiden's fourth grade teacher shared a note about her student and why everyone wanted to be his partner in class. He was, he was missed when he was absent and the kids celebrated when he came back to school. Kids would gather around his locker in the morning and I'd hear Aiden's back, Aiden's here. Aiden wanted to be a YouTube influencer his mom says it's to make the world a better place. Tell us how to make macaroni. <laughs> or their famous <laughs> is making ramen step by step, or, even how to open the package. Or chopping wood. Even at their young ages, Aiden's family says his two-year-old brother and six-year-old sister will feel their loss deeply. Aiden was teaching her how to read. Oh, so somebody like that hurt so many because he would have been a huge asset to the whole world. During a Sunday night vigil to honor Aiden's legacy, Ashley and his grandpa David say they lost their best friend. And every time I think about getting angry, I can't because that's not who he is. He wouldn't, he would have just said, Mom, it was an accident. Mom, you have to forgive. I can't believe it. In the blink of an eye, you never think it's going to happen to you until it does. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is promised. Let them know how much you love them, how proud of them you are. He was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced deceased. According to Ashley, his last words were, I love you. And I held him. I knew he was something special. The full letter from Aiden's teacher and a link to a GoFundMe and a meal train will be on our website. 30-year-old Josue Sandoval Santenorio of South Beloit was charged with child endangerment and having no FOID card in relation to this incident. 